Refugees here, we are still helping them each day. Uh, do you want some question for him? Yeah, sure. What's your name? Jak to bezvate? Do you like to climb? America didn't kill 30,000 civilians in two weeks, though. Who cares, you fucking idiot? What do you mean? Oh, that's the number? Is that when it's like fucking, um, is that when it's uh, appropriate? How much death is appropriate for you? You stupid fuck. Stop mercilessly and senselessly trying to wash America's hands, America's bloody hands with Ukrainian bloodshed. Okay? You stupid fuck. You are disgusting. Actually disgusting, dude. What the fuck? Dick riding America for free. Yeah, I don't understand. Like, it's, it's literally free for you to not dick ride America. What's your favorite animal? Mason. Mason? So, he, he have a Mason. cat called Mason. <laughs> Is that Mason? Mason, <laughs> oh, Mason. Mason. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, uh, Mason's a little bit camera shy. What do you want to be when you grow up? He, he, he want to, to buy a car for, for his mother and, and uh, to himself. Меня зовут Ольга, мы приехали из города Бахмут, Донецкая область. Мы с вечера собрались и уже до крайней точки Львов. Пытаться в ближайшее время, а дальше посмотрим, будет видно, как. Would you prefer to return home or, or would you like to immigrate into a different country? Хотелось бы вернуться домой, естественно, мы скучаем по дому, так как развернутся все эти события, и будет ли дома, будет ли куда возвращаться, и если действительно будут какие-то сложные ситуации в плане возврата домой. А, какое-то время было спокойно в городе, потом а, какой-то день в центр города прилетело сразу несколько ракет, я, мне стало страшно за ребенка, за себя, семью, и мы приняли решение выехать. Когда это было далеко от нас, и в комендантский час, и так далее, он видел в городе военных и военную технику, он задавал вопросы, почему они здесь. 8, 9, 05, 9, 11, 9, 26. Samson, real quick. Make sure that I don't fuck this up. Не внедрялась в подробности, не вникала. Do, do you like staying here? Мне тут нравится, я тут только на канате таком, на этой, на мате, бегал, бегал. Good in this situation. Well, I'm glad you were able to bring Mason with you. Обязательно в любом случае мы бы не оставили его дома без присмотра. Он полноценный член нашей семьи. Out of the more than 4 million people who fled Ukraine, over 2.3 million are now in Poland. 14. Yeah, 14. I came off uh, Kriverich, it's the center of Ukraine. My little brother and my aunt came to Peremyshele with me. And, uh, Probably I, watching Dream SMP, dude. Uh, like, very scared because my dad uh, is in Kriverich. Yeah, it's a scary situation, very scary situation. What do you miss most about home? My friends, my four best friends in Hungary, in uh, Slovenia, in Ireland. And I haven't connected with, uh, with them. If you had to pick one friend that you wished you were with right now, which friend would it be? I think like Dima. In my school, he sit um, 
back for me. He is quite funny and he is like uh, he can um, uh, smile me um, all of them. I uh, want to hear his uh, jokes of teachers and uh, <laughs> like uh, I I want to usual life. Декілька днів тому приходило по шість потягів, і можна легко порахувати, що кожен потяг вміщував по дві по три тисячі осіб. What do you think is the biggest challenge refugees face whenever they get from Ukraine to Poland? Така, що люди приїжджають в чужу державу і не можуть зорієнтуватися. Ну кожен боїться за своє життя, за своїх дітей. Дуже дивно те, що, наприклад, українці в Сільській Федерації живе коло більше п'яти мільйонів осіб всебічного освітлення цієї війни, і тому рахують що російська армія робить правильно. In Russia, Vladimir Putin's approval rating is soaring despite his disastrous invasion of Ukraine. It's now above 80%. Kyiv nikto ne bombit. Ya to ne. No one is bombing Kyiv, I don't believe it. Putin couldn't do this. Invade Ukraine? Why? There are people living there. Russian state television accuses the West of fake news over Ukraine. Это Зеленский что делает? It's all on Ukrainian president Vladimir Zelensky and the Americans. Я за Путіна. Я хочу вам показати мені. Я за Путіна. Я поняла. Даже не буду смотреть фотографії. I will not look at photos. In these photos um, lying on the ground these apparently dead bodies were uh, placed there. Placed there. Yeah, that's a, that's the common like even motherfuckers out here do that as well. Um that's the the common like oh they're fake. They're fake news. Like the bodies are fake. Cuz the bodies can't be real. Just like the war can't be real, because Ukrainians and Russians are one people. Why would you kill your brothers and sisters like that? You know? Why would you kill your brothers and sisters like that in order to keep up your approval rating and in order to make sure that this is like a justifiable conquest to hide the truth? And I get people do that. Let's be real. I mean, reactionaries do that. Yes. Conservatives do that. Yes. And isn't Bucha is a false flag psychos get banned off Twitch recently? I don't know. Chatters who get mad for normal version saying this should look back at what we were saying immediately after 9-11. Or, I mean, Iraq. Like, think about the justification for the Iraq war from... So many Americans. They're by anyway. Ukrainian radicals, as they're called, or Nazis. So I think I've seen this before. What is this uh, flyer right here? So AFOB Azov Azov Battalion is a uh, neo-fascist battalion here in Ukraine. They've been going since the start of the revolution, so 2014. The group was known to have ties to neo-Nazi movements, and its leader was even quoted once as saying Ukraine's purpose was to, quote, lead the white races of the world. To Russian President Vladimir Putin, their far-right politics, a justification to claim that Ukraine needs to be Denazified. Not to say that they're not there. They're fighting right now in Mariupol. You know, they've been basically defending that city yeah. along with the uh, Ukraine Marines. Um, but they make out like that's everybody and everybody believes in it sort of thing. There's a real problem where people either like just deny it exists or they emphasize on it too much. And really, they don't have much influence like politically. So, you know, when Russia was saying they're a Nazi junta, it's like, well, then the, they're the worst one that ever happened because Zelensky, who was a Jew, who some of his family died in the Holocaust under the Nazis, he got 73% of the vote in a country of 44 million. I think what you have to do is look at Russia. So Russia has a very more, much more serious Nazi problem. And there's a lot of evidence that they're connected to the FSB, Russian internal um, intelligence services. So they have a problem. Siren. Yeah. Should we go to a uh, shelter or something? Yeah, we should probably go to a shelter, yeah. Um, if we want to get a look at the other side of things that isn't reported as much, we could go and talk to the anarchists. They're doing aid. They're taking